Hello guys, this is Danny the Medic. Welcome to my channel. Today we are at the only all-you-can-eat lobster here in New York City. Alright guys, so we're here at the Crab House here in New York City where it is $130 for an all-you-can-eat lobster experience. Is it worth the money? Let's find out. Alright. Uh, oh, and jo joining me is uh, my friend Tung over here. Hi guys. Yep. All Terrific. Okay, start with the lobster? Yeah. This place has lobster in two styles. One, they cut it in half and it is steamed. And the other one is they cut it in half and it is deep fried with salt and pepper. They give you lemon and melted butter. And the service here is terrific. Over here we have the fried version. And now we have the steamed version. And they also have claws available. All of it was succulent and delicious. I also got some seaweed salad, one of my favorite things to eat. And here we have sizzling steak and sizzling scallops. Boy, look at that sizzle. It, it kind of got me good. Here's your lobster mac and cheese. It's not bad, guys. And now, fried Dungeness crab legs. Delicious and easy to open. And more lobster. This is all you can eat, guys. You better eat all you can. Delicious stuff. Yummy. And we got some uh, snow crab while we're at it, just for fun. Here are some lobster cakes, they call it. And I like the scallops, so I got more scallops. This is their shrimp fried rice. Tang actually liked the fried rice. To me, it, it was a little bit too soy saucy. Yeah. And here are some uh, garlic noodles, they call it. More lobster, guys. More lobster. Well, guys, at this point, I'm kind of full. I think I'm done. Yeah, it tastes like... Almost like Canadian kind of lobster, the cheap ones. So it's definitely fresh, but it's the cheap fresh ones. It's not Maine lobster. Definitely not Alaskan. Are they Alaskan lobster? Yes. Guys, I don't think so. Is there such a thing as Alaskan lobster? Put your opinion in the comment below. Uh, yeah. Check please. Okay, no problem. Okay. All right, guys. It is now time to take a look at the question. Is it worth the money? $130 or you can eat lobster per person. Wow, guys, right? Wow. Okay. So there's two ways to look at this. Uh, subjectively and objectively, right? We'll do the subjective first. All right? I'm a paramedic. I make a certain amount of money. Everyone knows how much I make. It's just, you know, published in all like monster.com or whatever. Paramedics, you know, we all make a certain amount. But uh, the hard ends of the spectrum, I'll say that if you are a single mother of five, right, living from paycheck to paycheck, no, it's not worth the money. But you can do a whole lot more with $130, okay? Feed your family and all that. But Let's say you're a millionaire who tips $100 bills for people who just open the door for you or something like that. Hmm. It's an easy no-brainer, right? Where do you want to go eat? Or you can eat lobster? Yeah, 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 let's go. How much? I don't care, whatever, let's just go. It can never cost you too much, right? Because time on earth is limited. We're all going to die, right? You can't bring it with you. If you got it, enjoy yourself. So that boils down to me. Um, regular guy, paramedic salary, 
Not much, not a little, you know? But is it worth it to me? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you this. Because I was able to make a YouTube video out of it, yes, it was worth it for me. You know, I get to show you guys, you know, a little something and brings me joy to my hobby in addition to the lobster I eat. Now, would I go there again, you know, like, and not make a video? Like, there, uh, there's no point in making a second video. It's just going to be like this one. No, I'm not going to go back for that. $130 actually means something to me. You know, it's not, a, it's not an insignificant amount of money. Ooh, you know, which kind of brings me back to what I used to tell people. That one day, I wished I'd be rich enough that parking tickets no longer concern me. You know, it's like, oh, I got another ticket. Jeeves, just send it off to the accountant, you know, something like that. Parking tickets here in New York can run like 125 easy, okay? So it's like about the same price. But yeah, that, that, that actually, 130 bucks? Mm, I, I won't be doing that again. Only for you guys. All right, so please like and subscribe. All right, so the other way to think about it is objectively. Is that all-you-can-eat buffet worth $130 per person objectively? Hmm. It can be, depending on how much you eat, okay? Now, let's look at this. I have this written down. Now, if you go to Costco, and I did my research ahead of time, you can find lobster tails at $9.25 a tail on average, right? So, I mean, like, the way they cook it isn't anything fantastic. They steamed it or they deep fried it with salt and pepper, okay? Easily, you can do that at home. So you got to eat 13.51 lobsters to break even with that price. Wow, that's a lot of lobster tails, all right? Uh, another way to think about it is that on at the shop right, the supermarket by me over here, they have lobster live whole for fourteen ninety nine a pound, of which you must eat six point six six lobsters to break even. Okay, each each uh, lobster you eat, including two claws, which are available at the buffet. Oh, and I'm sorry, I said buffet. They call it a buffet. I don't call it a buffet because we know what a buffet is. It's different from, but anyway, they, they call it a buffet. They want to, so yeah, right? And the third way of looking at it objectively is that there's such a thing as cull lobster, right? Cull, meaning that uh, as a live lobster that is missing one or both claws, right? And now since this serving lobster cut in half and split with the claws detached, there's no reason to believe that they are not cold lobsters. Now, cold lobsters are being sold uh, online for $10 each, approximately, uh, each weighing about one pound because the, the, the claws weigh something, right? So if that's how you look at it, it's 12.5 lobsters you're looking at to break even. So can it be worth the money? What's the value to you? Is it compared to your own home cooking, like I just said? Or do you put value, you know, into like the labor and, and the, the effort and, you know, the uh, location establishment? So you can knock off a few dollars for that if you want. But no matter how you see it, $130 objectively is a lot of money. You can do a lot of $130, like pay a parking ticket. Those are expensive. All right? So thank you very much. That's all I have for you today. Please, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please press the like and the uh, subscribe if you want more of the same and different stuff and, and all that. Have a good night, guys.